Dog, I, I, I said today was crazy. Like, I thought the Ben Mason was all the crazy that we was about to get. But anyway, YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? I can't even put on my jacket. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And we talked about last week, we said in the video earlier today, uh, but we talked about about a week and a half ago that the Ravens were being so quiet. They were being so quiet. And it's, it, it, I, I just, I did not know why. It didn't make any sense why. And it, it, it was just almost too quiet. It was too quiet. But then it was like, okay, well, um, maybe they don't have anything to say. I don't know. Uh, and then we heard about the couple of future reserve deals and whatnot. But now this, the Ravens fired Wink. The Ravens fired their defensive coordinator. Wink, Mart like, and I know it's going to be a lot of people say, oh, they got the wrong guy. But this is crazy. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that the Ravens are actually initiating some type of change. Like, maybe, and, and maybe what got him relieved of his duties was how there was the lack of adjustment. The, the, the adjustments came too late because there would be times, there would be games early on in the season where cornerbacks were struggling. They were struggling bad, struggling so bad. But he would continue to leave them on islands. He would keep on leaving them on islands over and over and over and over again. And this happened with the, the, the starting corners, even though Marcus Peters was out. It happened with the corners that they had starting. Then it happened with backups. And it, it continued. And it was like, my goodness, what's going on here? And I guess the Ravens are really, um, they were looking at a lot of these late game collapses. Because there would be games. And, 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 and this is where it's tough. This is where it gets really tough. Because there would be games where the Ravens would, the, the defense would just be playing outstanding. They would be holding it down. But the offense was like, oh. We're going to take it time. We're going to take our time. We're going to take it slow. And the defense will still be playing pretty much lockdown. They will be holding it down, holding the team to no points or field goals or something like that. And the offense will be like, oh. And then the offense started finally waking up. It's like, all right, let's go. And then the defense, oh, we fell apart. Oh, man, we've been out there so long. Can you blame us? So th th this, this firing, let's read. Let's, let's read the statement that came from Harbaugh, and, and boy, th this lets us know that everything ain't safe in the castle, baby. See, there were some people saying that they really thought that Harbaugh was about to get an extension. And I said that I did not see that happening. I didn't see that happening because there's so much pressure on him. EDC and them must have had a conversation with John Harbaugh and been like, look, look, this is all on you, my friend. And you, you better get this thing right. Because next season, it ain't going to be no excuses. You better get this thing right. And I guess Harbaugh felt like, hey, <laughs> I'm not trying to go. He's going, not me. Anyway, let's read the statement from Mr. John Harbaugh. He said, after several productive conversations, Don and I have, oh, they did one of these. Ooh, they did one of these. See, hashtag hood Harbaugh. That is the thing. Harbaugh ain't never going to say you fired. They ain't never going to say you, we know you fired, but they ain't never going to say you fired. They will never say that. And I respect it, but we know, the, we know the truth. We know what's real. Anyway, says, after several productive conversations, Don and I, this is coming from John Harbaugh, Don and I have agreed to move forward in separate directions. You fired him, but you don't want to say that. You don't want to say that. So, and, I, and, I, and I respect it because this looks better on Wink's resume. It looked better on Marty Morningweg's resume. It looks better on their resume when you say, oh, well, we had a conversation about this position and they declined it, so they decided to go their separate ways. Or we had a conversation about it over the last couple of years and they decided, he decided to go his separate ways. We ain't buying that. He got fired. That, that's what it is. But it's okay. I respect the respect. Anyway, whew, this, this thing is, this is crazy for Anyway, 
Um, let me read it. Let me run it back. Let me try not to interrupt myself again. After several productive conversations, Don and I have agreed to move forward in separate directions. We have had a great run on defense, and I am very proud of what has been accomplished and the work he has done. Don has been a major contributor to the success of our defense since 2012, and especially since he became the defensive coordinator four years ago. He has done a great job. Now it's time to pursue other opportunities. Sometimes the moment comes, and it's the right time. I am personally grateful for our friendship and for everything he has done in Baltimore. Wow. This is so crazy. Now, I wonder if there would be a scenario. Like, think about this, y'all. Think about this. Because Wink, and I know there have been some talk about from, from quite a few people thinking that Wink could be out of here. But think about this. Ooh, this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. Well, we got some questions from subscribers coming up like tomorrow that may be a tiny bit outdated. But anyway, think about this. What if there was a scenario where Ravens were like, look, Greg Roman's going to. Oh, boy, that now that would actually be a little less surprising. That would actually be a little less surprising. And now it, it, it could actually seem more realistic that there's a possibility that that happens. But something else that this does let us see the right accountability and adjustments. This is what we were talking about. Accountability and adjustments. That's what we wanted to see for this team moving forward. And look what's going on. Accountability and adjustments. So um, whew, this thing is this is crazy. So almost I, I forgot what I was about to say. Let me bring it back real quick. Um, oh, that's what I, that's what it was. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. My brain is going crazy. This lets us know that even though a lot of fans, they try to let us, and you can understand why. There were some analysts that try to mention it, and you can understand why, because it's true. All the injuries that the Ravens sustained this season, this lets us know that no excuses. Well, at least for Wink. At least Wink ain't got no excuses. We'll see if they give him a zero. But they gave Wink no excuses. None. In injury pass that I thought everybody was getting. Because Harbaugh, Wink, Rome, I thought all of them would get an injury pass. Raven said, nope. Uh-uh. We're not doing it. No. And you know that th this has been something that must have been Button for a while, man. This this has been something that must have been... They must have been talking about this for a hot minute, man. They had to have been. Since the very end of the season, since the last... They had to have been talking about this. You know what's crazy? Is that somebody... um, I forgot what video it was. Oh, it was because we did a premiere for the video that we did with Rita. NFL chick. Shout out to her, by the way. But, um... Somebody, in, well, while we were doing the premiere, so it was like a live stream, somebody commented, man, uh, Owe can be, I feel like Owe can be great. And I said, well, I feel like he can be too, but just not in Wink's system. Not in Wink's system. The Ravens under Wink, again, overall, which, with what matters most, points. That's what matters the most, the points. Um, so overall, not a bad system, but for production, bad system. And another thing, too, that lets us know that ain't nobody safe is that Wink was a player's coach. He was a play player. They love Wink, man. You remember Wink with the chain and all that? Wasn't nobody doing all them poses with Giro with no chain on? Giro ain't had no chain and no Jordans on. No, man, they did that with Wink. Wink was a player's coach. Terrell Suggs, man, this dude ranted and raved about Wink so much, man. So many players, they, they love Wink Martindale. Wink Martindale got that swagger. He got that vibe to him. He got that energy. And Wink is like, he's one of those people that'll look you in the face straight up. No laughing, no nothing. I'm, I'm getting ready to punch you in the face. I'm getting ready to swing on you. And when I swing on you, you're going to fall to the ground. That's it. Just letting you know. He's one of those type of people that will look you in the face and tell you something like that straightforward, but with no laughing. But I guess, hey, may, may, maybe sacks really are not overrated. Maybe they're really not overrated. And the Ravens, they've been hearing so many people talk about that comment recently. And they were like, wait a minute. He did say that in one of our presses. You know what? That's it. 
You're out of here, buddy. That was your, you didn't have plenty of strikes. You're done. But Wink, um, his scheme, man, it it, it, was, it was just so it's it's so weird because you would think that a scheme that brings so much pressure that the sacks would be through the roof. Mm-mm. Now, whoever the Ravens get next, all right, you let go of Wink, and we, we know he's going to find another job. That ain't no question. But you let go of Wink, what now? Who do you hire now? Are you going to bring somebody from within? Are you going to hire from within, so somebody that's been under Wink? Or are you going to promote from the outside? Now, I know Brian Flores is a pipe dream. It's not going to happen. He'll be a head coach. I would love it. But it ain't gonna happen. I would love it, but it ain't gonna happen. I would, ooh, I would love that, but it's not gonna happen. Well, you know what? Anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. But he'd probably be a head coach. But anyway, what do you do now? How do Ravens respond to this now? How do Ravens counter this move? What, what do you What do you do next? Because the you got to get a scheme where you can get to the quarterback. It's a passing league. The run defense is nice. That's that's nice, beautiful, amazing. And it could change now. But you got to be able to get to the quarterback, man. You have to. You, it, it's, it's a must. Especially in this day and age in football. You got to be able to get to the quarterback. If you can't, well, you know, Ravens fans know. But now, this, will, this change, this could help. Adafi away so much This could help Tyus Bowser when he's healthy This could help Jalen Ferguson This could help Dalen Hayes This could help the pass rushers so much Because depending on who they bring in next They may actually be able to be pass rushers With Wink Skeen And this obviously ain't nothing personal to him Y'all know that But with Wink Skeen It did not allow guys to specialize in anything Cause you had to do this, you had to do that, you had to do that, you had to do that, you had to do that. Now, hopefully, for the next guy that they bring in, it'll be a scene, a scheme that is simplified. I have to say it ain't too simple, but guys know their role, guys know what they need to do, guys know their position, guys know their objective on each and every play. That's so important because when you have confidence in yourself, when you have confidence in what you're doing, when you understand what your role is and you understand what you're doing, you can do it better. You can execute it better. And with Wink Scheme, again, so many people always talk about, man, this thing is crazy. Man, this thing is so complex. Man, this thing is so difficult. Man, this thing is crazy. Now that's been removed. So now we can hopefully just let the players play. Let them excel in what they're good at. And let's see how this thing goes. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. What a Friday this has been. Wow. And just like Don Martindale is when it comes to being a Ravens defensive coordinator, I'm out.